What's your question? If you go close enough, then you can get it in my microphone. Why do you have to be veg? <laughs> Why do you have to be veg? Why do you have to be veg? Oh, good question. Okay. So, why are we vegetarians? So there's a lot of reasons, okay? Now, let me ask you something. Let's say that you were walking down the street, okay? And you see a boy on the side of the road and you can tell he's very, very poor. And that boy has a piece of bread Okay, and he's eating the piece of bread. But let's say you also were a little hungry. Not hungry like he is, of course, because you had breakfast that morning. But you are a little hungry. Maybe it's lunchtime. Would you take the bread from his hands? Why? Because he will not get any to anything to eat. Right, exactly, exactly. And so that would not be nice to take the bread from him, right? Okay. So one of the main reasons that we are vegetarian is because when we grow our wheat and our rice and our corn, those things you can do two different things with them. Number one, you can feed people. So you can make bread and you can make pasta, you can make rice, you can make chapatis, you can make all those yummy things. Or you can take all that and you can feed it to the cows or the pigs or the chickens who become hamburgers and hot dogs and chicken McNuggets. Now, here's the problem. When we feed that to the animals, they don't become a hamburger overnight. It's not like they eat some food and then automatically it just transforms into a hamburger like Cinderella's chariot transformed into a pumpkin. It's not quite like that. They eat it, and then they digest it. Like when we eat food, we digest it. And then we go to the toilet the next day, and it comes out, and only a little bit stays inside of us, right? And it gets in our blood and our tissues. So the animals keep eating and keep eating food, for many years, two years, three years, four years, whatever it may be. And then finally, they get killed and cut up, and they become our hamburgers and our hot dogs and our chicken McNuggets. So what that means is that if I'm eating non-veg, we know already I'm being mean to the cow and the pig and the chicken. That we know because obviously to kill somebody and eat them is not nice, right? If I say, oh, you look so yummy, can I just eat your ear off like that, right? So that might be a nice thing to say, but it wouldn't really be a nice thing to do to eat your ear off or eat your nose off, right? You might tell me, well, you can kiss me, but don't, don't actually like start eating my body, right? Okay. So... So we know that eating the body of the animals is mean to the animals. But it's a lot more than that. It's mean to that boy who doesn't have any food. Because every day, do you know, tens of thousands of children like you, they die because they don't have enough food. But we actually grow in this world enough grain. Grain means what we call a nudge. So our wheat or our rice or our corn or our soy, all of the different grains that we grow, we actually grow enough to feed 10 billion people. Now, do you know how many people there are on planet Earth? Mm, more than a lot. 
More than a lakh, yeah, many more, but there's more than a lakh in Rishikesh. A lakh is 100,000, by the way. It's Indian numbering system. So yeah, there's more than a lakh in Rishikesh. Do you know how many people in the whole world? Mm. I don't know. Okay, that's okay. There's, there's a little over 7 billion people in the world. Okay, so that's 700 crore, right? Somebody good with Indian math? Is that right? 7 billion to 700 crores, right? Okay, so there's, there's more than 700 crore people on the earth, but we actually grow enough anaj every day for 1,000 crore people. So are there more people or is there more food? More food. You are so smart. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Lots more food. So why are people, children like you, why are they dying of hunger? Because they don't get food. Right. And why don't they get the food? Because uh, they can't afford it. Well, this is not actually the problem. Yes, if they had money, they could go to a supermarket, and no matter if it was expensive, they could buy it. But the problem actually is that most of the anaj that we grow in the world, it doesn't go to people. It goes to the animals who we will kill to make hamburgers and hot dogs and chicken McNuggets. So if I have, let's say, a handful of wheat or a handful of corn, I can either feed that hungry boy or I can feed it to a cow or a pig or a chicken and let them digest it and let them go to the toilet and it comes out and then they eat more the next day and then they keep eating and keep eating. And out of all that anaj I give them, I get this much meat. And that much meat is bought by only a few people. So can you think of 15 of your friends, can you think of 15 people you know and you like, maybe in your class in school? Hmm? Take a moment, think in your mind, think of 15 people you like. Okay, tell me when you've got them in your mind. Okay. Oh, great, okay. So, if I have 16 kg of corn, let's say. If I have 16 kg of corn, I can give every single one of you, every one of you, one kg of really nice corn chapatis. You like corn chapatis? Good, yeah, I do too. So I can give, I can give every one of you one kg of good, yummy corn chapatis. Or I can take that corn and I can feed it to cows and pigs and chickens. And at the end, I can feed one of you hamburger. Only one of you. Now what that means is, if I feed you those 15 friends of yours, you know what they get? Nothing. Nothing. Now that's not very nice to them, is it? Because they must be hungry also, right? So do you think it's nicer if we feed corn to everybody or rice to everybody or chapatis to everybody or pasta to everybody or hamburgers to only one? Mm. Which is nicer? Feeding corn and... Mm, to everybody, right? So that's why, that's why we choose to eat vegetarian because we only have a certain amount of anaj and we have to choose either we feed it to people or we feed it to the animals and then out of 16, we only get one. 16 kgs of grain gives us one kg of hamburgers. But 16 kgs of grain gives you 16 kgs of 
bread or rice or pasta. Let me ask you another thing. Do you like trees? Today, Pooja Swamiji gave you all a tree. Did you get, did, you, did he give you a tree? Were you giving trees to people today? In the Arati, I saw you. Right there, you were standing there when he was giving trees, right? Okay, so we'll make sure you get one before you go also. Now, trees are very, very important. Do you know why trees are so important? Because they also have a life. Because they also have a life, yes, exactly. But do you know that trees also give us life? Did you know that? So someday in school, you are going to learn something really beautiful, which is trees give us life. We need oxygen to live. When you go, you're taking in oxygen. Where does that oxygen come from? The trees give it. The trees give it. And those trees give us life. But... Do you know that the people who are making the hamburgers out of the cows are cutting down all the trees because they need some place to put all their cows? And so in our rainforests in South America, have you heard of the Amazon? Yes. Oh, have you been? Yeah. It's really beautiful. Someday maybe we can take a trip to the Amazon. Would you like that? Yeah, me too. So. So the Amazon rainforest is being cut down one acre every second. Think about it. Every time I clap my hands, a whole acre of trees is being cut down. And you know why? Just to make hamburgers. Just to make hamburgers. So this is why we are vegetarian. Because number one, we don't think it's nice to kill animals because animals also feel. But number two, because we don't think it's nice to let other people starve because they're our sisters and brothers also. And number three, because we really like trees and we really like oxygen and we think those things are more important than hamburgers. Does that make sense? Do you know about global warming? Have you heard about climate change and global warming? Yes. You've already heard about that. How old are you? Seven. Wow. Good. Wonderful. So do you know that according to the United Nations, which are people you can believe, the, the industry that makes your hamburgers and hot dogs and chicken McNuggets, what we call animal agriculture, so agriculture but not agriculture that gives us loki and pumpkin and nice veggies, but agriculture that gives us hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken McNuggets, they are the single greatest contributor, the biggest reason why we have climate change. So here we are, everybody doing everything they can, turning off lights every time we walk out of rooms and putting low flush things in our toilets and our showers and turning off taps while we brush our teeth and doing everything we can to save water and save energy and not pollute the environment. But the single greatest reason, the biggest reason, for climate change is this production of non-veg food. So now what do you think we should do? Be veg. Yeah. You could leave her here with me. <laughs> you want to stay here? You can teach everybody every night why we should be veg. Thank you. Wonderful. Do you have any other questions? 